Hello my dear children, I am Hiren Desai from Sri Vasish Twijalai. Again, I welcome you all. As you know that our school has provided you a link for a web page of our school. You will get assignment, worksheet and link of previous video from that web page. So you can use that link for this material. Today I am here with one more video on multiplication for class 3rd. In previous video we discussed some concept of multiplication, how to multiply any number by one digit number and some important properties of multiplication. Today we are going to discuss four more topic on multiplication. Our first topic is multiplication by a one digit number with carrying multiplying any number by 10, 100, 1000. Third topic is multiplying any number by multiples of 10 that is 20, 30, 40 up to 90 and fourth topic is multiplying any number by a multiples of 100 that is 200, 300, 400 up to 900. So let us start today's topic. Our first topic is multiplication by one digit number with carrying. Let's understand this with one example. 69 multiplied by 4. Now you know that 9 is at 1's place, 6 is at 10's place. According to the rules of multiplication, first of all we have to multiply a number or digit with 1's place, then 10's then hundreds and so on. In this example, we will multiply 4 with 9. So 4 9s are 36. So 6 we will write at 1's place and 3 we will forward on next digit as a carry. Now we will multiply 4 with 10's place means with 6. 4 6 are 24. But what is about this carry? We will add that carry in multiplication of 6 and 4. 6 4s are 24. 24 plus 3 is equal to 27. So our final answer will be 276. In next example, 358 multiply with 6. According to the rules, we will multiply 6 with 8. So 6 8s are 40. 8. So 8 we will write at 1's place. 4 we will forward on next digit as a carry. Now we will multiply 6 with 5. 6 5's are 30. And we have to add this carry in 30. So 30 plus 4 is equal to 34. So 4 we have to write at 10's place. And 3 we will forward on next digit as a carry. Now 6 multiply 3. 6 3s are 18. And 18 plus 3 is equal to 21. So answer will be 2148. Next example is 203 multiply by 7. So first of all we will multiply 7 with 1's place. Means 7 3s are 21. 1 we will write at 1's place. 2 we will forward on next digit as a carry. Now you know that when we multiply any number with 0, answer will be 0. 7 zeros are 0. 0 plus 2 is equal to 2. Now we will multiply 7 with 100 place. 7 2s are 14. So final answer will be 1421. Next topic is multiplying by 10, 100, and thousand there is some rules that you should keep in your mind first rule is while multiplying a number with 10 all you need to do is add one zero at the end of the product for example to multiply 10 in this case you have to take a product of 2 and 1 only so product of 2 and 1 is equal to 2 and we have to add one zero at the end of product so answer will be 20 
Next example is 57 multiply 10. So product of 57 and 1 will be 57 and we have to add 1 0 at the end of product. So answer will be 517. Third example is 124 multiply 10. So 124 multiply 1 is equal to 124 and we have to add 1 0 at the end of product. So answer will be 1240. Second rule is while multiplying a number with 100 add 2 0 at the end of the product. For example 9 multiply 100. In this case also we have to take product of 9 and 1. So 9 ones are 9 and we have to add 2 0 at the end of the product. So answer will be 900. Second example is 82 multiply 100. So 82 ones are 82 and we have to add 2 0 at the end of the product. So answer will be 8200. Third example is 245 multiply 100. So 245 ones are 245 uh, and we have to add 2 0 at the end of the product. Next rule is while multiplying a number with 1000 add 3 0 at the end of the product. For example 17 multiply 1000. So 17 ones are 17 and we have to add 3 0 at the end of the product. So answer will be 17,000. Next example is 19 multiply 1000. So answer will be 19,000. Third topic is multiplying by multiples of tens that is 20, 30, 40 up to 90. There is also some rules that you should keep it in your mind. First rule is while multiplying a number which is multiple of 10 multiply with first digit then count the number of zeros and add them to the right side of the product. For example 8 multiply 40. In this case we have to multiply 8 with 4 only. So 8 4 is a 32 and 1 0 we have to add at the end of the product. So answer will be 320. Second example is 12 multiply 70. In this case also we have to multiply 12 with 7 only. So 12 7s are 84 and we have to add 1 0 at the end of the product. So answer will be 840. Third example is 11 multiply 90. So 11 9s are 99 and we have to add 1 0 at the end of the product. Next example is 7 multiply 40. So 7 4s are 28 and we have to add 1 0 at the end of the product. So answer will be 280. Next topic is multiplying by multiples of 100 that is 200, 300, 400 up to 900. That rule also you have to keep it in your mind while multiplying a number which is a multiples of 100 multiply first digit and then count the number of 0 and add that 0 at the end of product or right side of the product. For example 5 multiply 300. In this case we have to multiply 5 with 3 only. So 5 3 is a 15 and we have to add 2 0 at the end of the product. Next example is 7 multiply 600. So 7 6 are 42 and we have to add 2 0 at the end of the product. Next example is 9 multiply 900. So 9 9 is 81 and we have to add 2 0. So answer will be 8100. Last example is 12 multiply 800. So 12 8 is 96 and 2 0 we have to add at the end of the product. So answer will be 9600. Now there are some questions of multiplication. You have to solve it by yourself at your home. First question is 88 multiply 7. Second question is 570 multiply 5. Third question is 240 multiply 9. Fourth is 3 multiply 100. Fifth is 9 multiply 1000. Sixth question is 
11 multiply 50 and last question is 8 multiply 1200.